Sarah. Welcome to my craft room. I have started making these Z Fold cards. I think they are adorable. And who can resist a princess and her castle? So you can personalize this one. You can change her hair color to whatever color of hair your princess has. Um, and of course, add her name. And I'll show you how to do all of that. But first, I need you to go down into the description and click on the Cricut link there. That will put the base of this card on your canvas. It's a public file, and if you click on the link, then you'll have it, and we can start from there. So let's go make it. Okay, here we are. If you clicked on the link in my description, it has put this on your canvas. If you haven't, Go look at the description and click on the Cricut link and it'll put all of this on your canvas and we'll, we'll be ready to go. Here is your envelope. Um, I'm going to, you just cut it out, bend it and glue it. So I'm going to move it out of the way since it's so big. Now, you have, we have two different um, square supports. We are not going to be using this one, so I'm going to delete it. Okay. And then let's go ahead and get all of these colors changed. Um, and I'll show you the easy way to do it. If your image has score or pen lines, you cannot change their colors in edit. You have to do it through layers. So first we've got this here. All the gray pieces are going to be the bright pink. So let's see what we can find here. Let's go over to the pink. I'm going to move this over. That looks good. We're going to hit apply. Okay, and then this one, again, you're going to go find it in layers because it's got a score line. And since I already made that pink, it is way up here at the top because it's going to be one of our colors. Okay, so there you go. Then these squares in here, and let me show you an easy way to do this. You're going to ungroup. Mm, we're going to have to ungroup again. I didn't realize that they were all together. Okay. You can bring all three of these, since they don't have a score or a pen line on it, um, drag your mouse or your finger and capture all of them. And then we, we can go to edit and change them all at the same time. And they are all going to be light blue because they're going to be the sky. Okay, and these blues or pinks or whatever don't have to match exactly what you, with the color that you have. You're just you're just trying to tell the Cricut machine, I want all of these cut out in blue, and this is going to also be your blue. And then we're going to make that the light blue, and then we can do the same thing here, or we can um, click them individually. I'm trying to show you both. Oh, they're the medium green. There we go. Okay, because these are going to be the ground. So you can do these individually if you'd like. Just like this through layers. Or you can ungroup them and do them all together like I showed you before. Okay, now we've got our whole base done. Look how, look how easy and simple that was. Okay, let's take our layers off. Now we've got to get some images. I'm going to take you in here. When you are doing images all by the number by the code number all Cricut images start with hashtag capital M so we're going to do a hashtag capital M and then let's see let's go ahead and do the princess this one is 40749 there she is look at that and then you click on that and you see how it puts it down here at the bottom next to insert now, you see where I have all of these um, listed here. So you can, I'm going to fast forward from now on. And um, you can go ahead and load all of these images onto your canvas. And I'll meet you back at the canvas and we'll be ready to go.
Okay, now we've got all of our images. Okay, now the only thing we're gonna use on this is the road. So let's go ahead and get rid of everything. Um, you're going to unselect the road and then you can hit this I. There you go. Now we've just got the road left, okay? So that helps. And then on the frame, let's find it, there it is. We don't need the frame part, so we can delete that or, or hide it, either one, however you'd like to do it. Okay, first thing to do is to do sizes on the clouds. Let's ungroup those. There we go, so we've got two clouds, okay? So we are going to um, make two out of the darker. So let's go to actions and hit du duplicate. Whoop, it doesn't matter. We're gonna change the sizes here in just a minute. Okay, then the clouds are one, one and a half and two. It doesn't matter which ones you do. Let's see, this can be one. I'm gonna go to edit and the width is going to be one. There we go. And this one's gonna be 1 1.5. And this one's gonna be two. There you go. We are gonna come back and change all these colors here in just a minute. It's easier for us to do all the um, sizes first. Okay, now on the frame. I need two, we're gonna need two, but first let me show you something. First, let's go ahead and change the color to the bright white. There we go. And then the the size, we're gonna unlock this, uh, this lock button in between the width and the height. And we are gonna make it two inches wide times 1.25 wide. I mean, high, sorry. There we go, just like that. And, um, okay, that doesn't look right. Two, two, oh, I'm sorry, I got the wrong one. It's 1.75. That's my, that's my mistake, sorry about that. Okay, and now that we've got the color and the size, then you wanna hit duplicate, because otherwise you're just gonna have to do it twice and that's way too much trouble. Okay, <laughs> okay the trees, we're gonna need four trees. Okay. So, and they're all going to be different sizes. Well, there's going to be two. Okay, let's go ahead. We're going to duplicate it. Okay, and both of these, right, let's do, and then duplicate it one more time. There we go. The first one is going to be 0.75 width. Okay, let's go here. Let's make sure we lock that button back. 0.75. Okay, and then we need to duplicate that. Let's go back to actions and duplicate. Okay, we'll come back and change the colors here in just a minute. Um, and then this one is 0 0.5 wide. 0.5. And this one is 0 0.7. 0 0.7. Okay. Like I said, we will come and change all these colors and then put them up here where they belong here in just a minute, okay? Pull this down just a little bit, there we go. Okay, we've got our signs, our clouds, our trees. There we go. Our road. Okay, we are gonna have to, um, when we do this, we're gonna unlock the button again. Now, this is gonna be kind of funny, but you'll see. It is five by two. So we're gonna do five by two. There we go. Okay. Now, since we got rid of all the background on this, um, you, you're, the, the square, see how the square is? It's gonna, it's gonna make it a little bigger, but it's not a big deal. Whoops, let me pull this up to the front. There we go. So this is where it's gonna go. It's gonna, you're gonna do it right to the edge and then right up here to the top and it'll lead straight to the castle. I just realized that I missed the castle when I was pulling up my images. So I got it, I got it real quick. So let's do the princess. 
size. Let's bring her over here so we can see her better. And I will zoom in on all of this stuff once we get all of the sizes done. She is 3.25 high. Make sure that this button is locked. She's not gonna change much. There we go, 3.25 high for the princess. For the castle, it is 2.25 wide. So back to edit, 2.25 width. There we go. Okay, and the last thing we need to do is the happy birthday. And it is 1.75 wide. And let me change all these colors and then I'll help you with your text for your name. Okay, see that works. Now what I wanted to do was I, I try to pare down all of my colors to, you know, the least amount I can get away with. So first let's do all these. We're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna just select all of them by dragging across. Then we're gonna go to edit. We're gonna go into here and they are also gonna be the bright white. There you go, your clouds are done. Your trees. Okay, you've got two of these trees that are the larger size. One is going to be a darker green, like here. And one is going to be a lighter green. Okay, where is it? Well, well there it is. Okay, and then, because you're gonna have three different colors of green on here. There we go, just like that, it doesn't really matter. Then um, this smaller one is also gonna be the light green. Okay, and we will make sure that all of these light greens all match up, so don't worry about that when we're at the end. And then the medium one is also gonna be the dark green. Okay, the evergreen, there we go. Okay, let's do the princess and the castle because they're gonna have a lot of the same colors. Okay, I made her skin the same color as the road because they're both kind of tannish. And that's gonna be this right here. So we're gonna go into edit and looks like that's the right color. And again, here at the end, I'm gonna make sure everything matches. Then this part of her dress and her crown are gonna be the bright pink. So there's our bright pink. This under layer, this orange right here, mm, the lighter purple, there we go. And then if you wanna change your hair color, of course, if you wanna change your hair color, you pick this one, okay? And you'll pick this one, but first let's pick this one. Nothing else is gonna show, everything's gonna be hidden except for her hair. So if you want it brown like I did mine, you go in here and you just push it brown. We'll make it the same color as the um, as the stems of the tree. You will also change this part of her hair. So you'll go into edit and make that brown also. If you want blonde, if you want redhead, any of that, that's what you're gonna do. Now, castle, we're gonna do basically the same thing. Let's find it, there we are. Okay, the very back here is going to be the dark purple. There we go. This part is going to be the lighter purple that we already had. And then this part is going to be the bright pink. There we go. And this part is going to, whoop, sorry. There we go. This part is going to be a light pink, which it's already. And like I said, you don't have to, it doesn't have to exactly match. There we go, just like that, okay? There you go, princess and castle are done. Now let's change these guys, this happy birthday out and then we'll do the name and we're just about done. So let's go, let's go into our, there we go. The big part is going to be the dark purple and the birthday part is going to be the bright pink. There we go, just like that. There we go, look at that, we're almost done. Okay, all we need, all we have left is this for the name, and I'm gonna show you how I did that. First, we're gonna do the princess part, 
And the text that you want to use is called BFC Winter. There it is right there. Now, that's as close as I could get to match the happy birthday. So we're going to do, and it's always, ca it's all capitalized. So we're just going to do princess. Okay. And then I'm going to show you how we change this. And we will change the size on this one to the end because I need to make it big to show you. Okay. So the this font is a little too thin to match the happy birthday. If that doesn't bother you, then don't worry about it. But it, I want it to kind of match. So we are going to go into edit. And then we're going to go over here to offset. Okay. And let's, we're going to bring it down a little bit, way down here. There we go. Okay. I like that. I think I had it 0 0.105 when I made it. So you can also just click on here and 0 0.105 return. There you go. And it's just going to make it a little bit thicker. Okay, so then we're done. And then we are going to, everything's all picked. Okay, and then we are going to go to actions. And you see that weld button right there in the middle? We're going to hit that. Boom, done. Okay, it's going to give us a thicker. We don't need this thinner, so you can delete that. And now you've got your princess. We're going to do the size which is 1.5 width, 1.5. There we go. Now, let's get it where we can see it better, okay? There we go, and there it goes. And let's go ahead and cha change the color while we're sitting here, and that's gonna be the bright pink. Okay, and then we will you will do the exact same thing with your name. So we're going to go into text again. We're going to hit the, and, and um, mine is Aaron. Okay, so sometimes with these names, the offset will get way too close. So I will go in here um, and ungroup it, ungroup each letter. Now I'm not going to change the size and I am going to keep them in their original spot. You can, you can do that by watching these um, purple lines because I don't want them to hit each other, okay? Then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna group them back. And then we're gonna go to edit and offset again. I like three. There we go. And this is a personal preference. It's totally up to you. Again, everything is there. Everything is picked. We're going to push weld. And we've got our extra that we don't need anymore. Then, of course, whoops. Let's put this back on the princess. And I made the name a little bigger. Now, you're going to be gluing these individual letters. So you don't have to have them exact. To, when you cut them out, you just want to make sure that they're all going to fit on your sign. So you do it however, what si whatever size you want. I just kind of wanted to make the, her name bigger. And then we're going to change its color to the dark purple. Okay, there we go. I'm going to group this together really quick so I can move it easily. There you go. This goes here. There we go. This goes here. Oh, I didn't group it. See, that's the problem. Group up to there. And then your clouds go up. So we're good. The only thing we need to do is check all of our colors and make sure that we are using the least amount of mats possible. So we are going to go into sync. Okay. We, we actually have one, two, three different colored of green. So we want to make sure. Here's our trees and our hair. Um, here, the, here's the dark purple, the light green, the blue is the envelope. So, you know, you can change that to white or whatever. And I'll talk to you about the envelope paper that I use once we get over to the craft table. Okay. Now 
on these, on the princess body parts. Okay, I want her arms the same as her body. Okay, you see how I did that? Okay, and then these guys, these are the backgrounds for her eyes and her mouth, and I want those the bright white. Okay, and this is the lace on her dress, her petticoat or whatever you call it, and then I want it the bright white. Okay, so here we go. This is also a great way to use your to use your scraps. So you've got your dark green, your medium green, her eyes, the light blue, brown, dark purple, your envelope, the light green, light pro. Okay, we got it all done. So we can do this faster. If you would please go ahead and glue all of these together and you can go ahead and do the trees too. Okay, go ahead and get all that glued up and then our time on the craft table will go super fast. So this way you can get all that done without having to watch me do it and you're too good to have to watch me glue all this tiny stuff together. So do all that and I will meet you over at the craft table and we'll get it put together. And here we are at the craft table. As you can see, I use it a lot. Um, I asked you to uh, glue all this stuff together. So we're ready to go. My first tip is I put all this stuff on plates, the separate parts of different cards. This one is not nearly as crucial because we went ahead and, and glued all these. And speaking of that, let me show you something really quick. This... This is probably made to glue onto like a scrapbook page or actually onto the card, but ours is going to be floating uh, on the pop-up. And as you can see, look at this. That is not going to last. Now, you can try it. I mean, it's not a big deal. If you like it and you think it's fine, you're good. But mine is already bent. So I'm going to show you what I did. I clipped off the flag and then I glued it farther down on the roof. So let me do that really quick and show you. you nobody's gonna know any difference that, you know, they're not gonna go, oh, that flag is in the wrong spot. Well, there we go. Couldn't get the glue to come out there for a second. And then I just put it ah, right there, just like that. Uh, I don't want the tip to show, so I'm going to move it up just a little bit. There we go. See? No biggie, no difference. So if you need to do that because your flag broke, don't worry about it. We got it. We got it fixed. So first, let's go ahead and get our base done. Here's the base of your card. You're going to have, I went ahead and folded it like a card. You are going to have the scored on the left hand side here and it is going to be folded backwards like this okay so there you go just like that that's what you're what that's what it's going to look like see this okay and then these are going to go in each one of these spots hold on my glue decided all of a sudden oh i forgot to tell you about the glue just a second and i will let me go ahead. You have about a fourth of an inch all the way around. Okay. Oh. Mm, that's good. Okay. Um, if it's not exactly perfect, it's fine. It's a it's a it's a handmade card. So it's never gonna be perfect, right? Okay, um, oh the glue. I use art glitter glue. It dries clear. It it dries fast. So especially some of these things, you don't have to hold on to them forever until the glue dries. I buy it with the refill and the smaller thing and this this tip that comes with it. Um, it just puts out a really thin piece of glue, and a little bit goes a long way. So this will last you a long time. Okay. So let's get the other two panels on here. I don't know why. I might have waited too long to um, put the little pin in there. That's probably what happened, huh? So again, you're going to do one fourth of an inch. And what I try to do, let me bring this over, make sure you can see, is try to get these even across here. 
but of course I can't see it very well because I have to sit so far back so you, my head doesn't get in your video. So, and again, it's not a big deal. Nobody's ever going to notice, and it's just background. Whoever gets it is going to be so excited about the card. It's going to, the princess is going to look like her. It's going to have her name, all that good stuff. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and do the exact same thing on this smaller piece. And of course, this is because this is the grass and not the sky. So, same thing, just about a quarter inch. This is going to go really fast because you guys, um, because you went ahead and glued all the little tiny things. And you do not need to sit here and watch me glue all those things together. That would be a waste of your time, wouldn't it? So, I am all about not wasting time. That's why I put the, um, I went ahead and put the pre-made card on public. Okay, there you go. You've got both of your edges, okay? Now, we're going to do the same thing to this part, only it's opposite. You see, it's got the smaller squares, the bigger square, bigger square, smaller square. So, you're going to bend this down, the middle one, and then this one is going to bend up like that, Okay? So, let me show you what happens. Um, well, speaking of what happens, let me show you this. So, you kind of know where we're going. I made a sample. It's not to scale. This is your card. See? See? The yellow is, and the blue. Okay, you see that? And then when it folds, it folds like this. And you put it in the envelope, and then when they get it, they open it like this. Okay? Now, you see that pink part in there? That is the um, the brace that what you're going to glue the um, the castle on. Okay. Now you can see. Hopefully you can see it butts right up against the back of the card on both sides. Now this one is even with the top. So some of the things that that I will do in the future will do be that way. But for this one, we're going to, we're actually going to glue it about a half an inch above this layer. So let me go show you. I just wanted to show you. So you kind of have an idea of where we're going here. Okay. So I do this about an inch down. I mean, excuse me, I'm sorry, an inch from the bottom. Um, let me show you and you can decide yourself. Here's the princess. The castle will be here, sort of. Then you have your happy birthday and your princess. Okay. So there you go. So we're going to do it about an inch from the bottom. Okay. Let me get all these guys out of the way. And you are only going to glue this square and half of this square. You're only going to do this square, okay? So first, let's do this. It's going to match up on the ends, so you'll know you have it right, okay? And I do it about an inch. Can you see? i got to make sure I'm in camera here. Um, about an inch, and I'm going to line up the edges exactly even, okay? And then we are going to glue this square here. So what we'll do is we're going to do it flat and then I am going to pick it up and kind of mark it with my thumb where I want the glue to end. And that way I know that I don't want to put any glue past my thumb. Okay. So the best way to do this is flat. Make sure everything is flat and then you just smush it. Okay. So, remember the square we were making? There you go. Look, you're already there. You already made it. Ha! You're doing fantastic. Okay. While it's flat, let's go ahead and put all the everything in but the castle. Okay? So, here's your princess. Okay? So, let's go ahead and glue this on. I You will find out from watching my videos, I always dry fit everything to make sure I pretty much know where I want to put it. I will see these are just are pretty much even with the sides. Mm, I think I got it a little crooked. 
There we go, just like that. The happy birthday goes up here. Okay, I'm gonna put that down a little farther. Again, it's gonna butt up right against the edges, just like that. Look at that. And then your princess, I like to have her here and let me show you why. Um, I, I cut out extra roads because I haven't made this design before, but it's, I designed it all on. Um, so this would be your road is going to go here and it's going to end up at the castle. But when it's folded, look, it's going to end up right there. So she's going to look like she's standing on the road. Okay. So you kind of want to put her body in the middle. Don't, don't worry about the hair flowing. Okay. It's not going to fit on here anyway, even if we put it all the way over here. So you want to put it pretty much in the middle of this panel and, to, and right here at the bottom. Okay. Just trying to show you my logic of doing this. Okay. So I've got her. You're going to use this right here. So you want to pretty much put her in the middle. There you go. Now here's another tip. If I'm trying to... um you know, put something in, in the exact right spot. I will usually hold down one side, throw, sneak some glue underneath. Since this glue dries so fast, um, I can do that. And then I can go around, pick it up. I mean, it's a card, so you don't need a ton, a ton of glue. Okay. Uh-oh, I got a big drip. There we go. Okay. And then just a little bit under here. Since I hadn't got to do that yet. There we go. Now look. Huh. You're doing so great. Do that. Let's do clouds. Okay. While it's flat. Okay. Remember these clouds are going to, when it's open, are going to be behind the castle. Okay. So it will look like it's in the sky too. I mean, not in the sky, but you know what I mean. Okay, I kind of like the little cloud to be kind of off on its own. Okay, I don't. It, you know what? You put your clouds where you want. It's your cart. So I'm gonna put this little one kind of up here, kind of because it kind of fits right in with her crown right there. Then I will put the big one. Hmm about right there and then overlap this guy actually this is pretty much the same thing so i'm going to turn it so it matches the little one okay there we go clouds are in we are doing great okay now let's put the support in okay now remember i showed you it, this one's almost all also pink by coincidence you're gonna Butt it up right here, but you're going to have it a half an inch above um, the, uh, so first we're going to bend these sides in. Okay. And let me dry fit it so I can show you. And this is difficult for me to do from above when, when I, when I get ready, but look how cute it already is. When I get ready to do it, I'll turn it to the side. So we might as well do that now so I can show you. Okay, what you want, do you see how I've got it about half an inch above the, the wall there? And then it butts right up against the back, just like that. And then see, it's about halfway through. You see that? Okay. So the best way to do this, I'm going to keep mine sideways. You guys can go in through the top because you don't have a camera pointed down to the top, but I do. Okay. Okay. The reason that I fold these way in is so we don't drag glue across the other paper that we don't want glue on. Okay. So it is going to go like this and we are going to be about half an inch above and it doesn't really matter if you don't get it perfect. And I tend to, uh-oh, you know what I did? I put too much glue on the top. Silly me. 
Okay, just like that. It's easier for me to do it on the short side because I can see better. And then I just have to make sure it butts up against the other wall and it pretty much does its own thing here. Okay. I always forget that one half of it doesn't need it at the top. And this is a good segue for me to tell you not let it let your card set out for a little bit. Okay, you're going to test it here. There we go. Look, if it wasn't, if you didn't quite get it in, you just need to make sure it bends because remember, it's got to go in the envelope. Okay, it's not going to be seen, so you know it's not a big deal. Um, leave your card open for a few hours or or overnight, so the glue has a chance to dry. You don't want to put it here and put it in the card, and either the the card glues or some of this glues it to your envelope, okay? Speaking of envelopes, let me talk about, this is not the right size envelope for this project, but I bought some bigger 12 by 18. I got bought a ream of copy paper, and that's what I make it out of. I send a lot of mine, so I worry that it they might get too heavy because they have all this card stuck in them. Okay, easy, easy. The last thing we're gonna do is glue the castle in here. Now we want the castle to be right here, right at the top of that, okay? So gonna be in the middle. Okay, so first let's make sure you've got about a quarter inch or so on either side. It doesn't have to be exact because of course, as long as it's closed, nobody's gonna pay attention, okay? So we're gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna hold this. You see how it's got about a quarter inch of the support showing? But we've got it butted right up against this. You might wanna pull it up just a little tiny bit, just for clearance, okay? So now I'm gonna, we're only gluing it to the support. We're not gluing it anywhere else. Try not to get any glue anywhere else. I'm gonna hold that for a second. Okay, and then I can go back underneath and put more glue. Okay, I'm gonna smoosh it down really good. And look at that! You already have a pop-up castle. Look what a great job you're doing. Okay, now we need to do the road and the trees. We are not gonna leave this smooshed down very much because we wanna make sure that we're not gluing, you know, because in case we have wet glue. <laughs> that, that's not going to happen. Okay, you are going to make, put your road all the way to just, just a little ways away from the fold. And then you're going to make sure that this up here is even with the top here. Okay, so there's your road. Okay, and then we've got three trees on this side and the little guy. And one tree right down here. Okay, so let's get those glued on. Okay, I don't know who you're making this for, but whoever it is, they are going to love it. I have my old, my younger son is a special needs adult, and he is in the Special Olympics. And I once they restarted again, of course, it's still not started uh, over again. I think they're still waiting a little bit more time to make sure it's super safe. And then um, I see a bunch of his friends getting cards like this. Okay, let's put this guy kind of up a little bit. Okay, look, look what you did, look what you made. You did a great job. How cute is this? You did really good, I'm really proud of you.